everybody, welcome back to Angie's Pantry. Today we're going to make some sheep herders bread. Well, let me bring you in a little closer and show you First how we do all, this. First of all, we're going to take three cups of warm water, a fourth a cup of sugar, two tablespoons of yeast, stir that up a little, let it get a bubbly. Half a cup of shortening, you can use butter, I'm using Crisco butter flavored shortening. Four cups of uh, flour already pre-measured out, and it can take up to nine cups. Depending on your humidity and everything, you'll want to put your flour in, you know, a little bit at a time. I've got some salt here, uh, two tablespoons of salt. And we're going to start mixing it in. So it's five. See here in Michigan, it's really cold outside, so I might not even need all that. But I'm gonna let that go. Beautiful job. Here's cup eight. And I'm putting a little bit at a time because she's starting to roll into a ball now. But see at the bottom is where I want it to roll in. Oh, it smells amazing. No, I didn't even put in quite a whole cup of, of the egg yet. See, it just depends on the temperature of your area, the humidity of what you need for your flowers. And she's moving away just beautiful. So I'm gonna leave that set aside for now. And I'm gonna set my timer for eight minutes and let it knead and I'll be back. Eight minutes I let it go. I took it, took the dough hook off. And look at how beautiful this dough is. It's got a little stickiness, but not too bad. You want that. So now I'm gonna add, take it out for a minute, then add a little bit of olive oil in there so the she can rise. It's really a nice heavy dough. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of olive oil in here, rub it around, and then I'm gonna put the dough, beautiful dough it is, back in there and turn it around. Now I'm gonna push it down and then I'm gonna let it rise. And then we'll be back. I've got my um, beautiful uh, cloth that I rinsed. It's a cotton cloth with good hot water and I ringed it up really well and I'm just gonna lay that over top and then it'll be all ready to, when it rises up, we'll be back. So while that dough's rising, I sprayed my cast uh, pans with olive oil spray and then I took some corn grits grit meal and I put it in there and I shook it all around so that the crust would have that nice corn taste in there. I did that to both pans and then I even sprayed the lead. So my pans are prepped and ready to go. Okay, so it's nice and rose. See how it comes back up like that? That's a good sign. Flip it right out on the counter. Oh, beautiful. It smells wonderful. There's enough oil on there to where I don't have to you know, add oil to my hands. I can just go like that. So now we're just gonna knead it down a little. Now I don't add flour to my counter because there's enough flour in there and I don't wanna make it where it's too um, hard, you know, heavy of a dough. Beautiful dough. Okay, so we're gonna roll it out a little and then I'm gonna cut it right in half, halfsies. Good. Okay. And then I'm gonna roll it into a ball. Like so. Take the bottom, pinch it up a little. Twist it and roll it. There's a beautiful loaf of bread in there. Dough. Now before I put it in, I'm going to cut the top, but I'm going to use a serrated bread knife to do it. So let's roll around a little. All right. I have this serrated bread knife. Just like so. Okay. 
just like so. That pretty? Okay, now we're gonna put it in our pan. Whoops, don't set it on it. See how that's all nice and pretty in there? We're gonna set that right in the middle, like so. Grab our other one. rise again and then when it's risen to half the boat half of the container then I'll put it in the oven now I am going to put the lids Let on it rise like that all right we'll be back when it's risen okay let's see it's been a half hour now oh look at that beautiful nice and halfway up so that tells me it's gonna rise up more in the pan so I'm gonna leave the lid on it and then this one over here, ooh, look at that, yum. Smells amazing in here. Okay, my oven set at 375, has been. Well, put them in the oven for about 25 minutes or so. And we'll Just be back. out of the oven. I baked those at 375 for almost 45 minutes. Beautiful, it smells amazing. I've got just some butter, I'm gonna, real butter. Run across the top, and I'm going to let them sit in here for a minute. A couple minutes, actually. Mmm, it smells amazing in here. Okay, get that butter all the way in there. Doesn't that look pretty? I think it turned out good. Let them sit for a few, then I'll take it out and let them cool. Okay, let's see how it is to take them out. Oh, it's amazing. Look at the bottom. Beautiful. Let's see if you can see it good. Look at that bottom. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. All right, I had to show you. After the bread cooled down and it's been in the refrigerator overnight in a plastic bag with a piece of paper towel over the top so that if there's any condensation, it would go in the paper towel and not in my bread. Look at how beautiful that bread is. And it smells amazing. Now, I use the quick corn oats uh, for the sprinkling on my pan, but you can use an oat, uh, corn meal or whatever you got on hand. That's what I had, so it's like, and it worked out perfect, so. All right, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day. Big hugs from my pantry to yours. Bye.